So in 38 years of your life, you've never been placed in handcuffs? No. I don't believe you. No, I don't believe you, to be quite honest with you. So I was patrolling the uh, southwest corridor of the city, and I saw a vehicle that was traveling north. When it saw my police car, uh, the driver made an abrupt right-hand turn from the far left lane, which is a violation of the vehicle code. I turned around, contacted the driver. She told me she didn't have her driver's license with her. You on probation or parole? No, I'm not. You ever been arrested before? Nope. In your whole life, you've never been never arrested? Been arrested no. Never, ever. Nope. How about a ticket? No, maybe even for like not wearing a seatbelt or speeding or something. How old are you? That was a long time ago, huh? How old are you? I'm 38. So in 38 years in your life, you've never been no. placed in handcuffs? No. I, you don't believe me? No, I don't believe you, to I be quite honest with you. I just kind of became a little defensive, which made me more suspicious. I've interviewed thousands of people, uh, you know, victims, witnesses, suspects in crimes, and you kind of get a, a vibe from them or a feeling that they're not being truthful with you. So you said you were maybe given a ticket in San Diego. How about maybe, but I don't think I wasn't. I think maybe the citation. I remember paying. I never paid a ticket when I went to court. I think they dismissed it. So you did go to court. So you were given a ticket. Well, I didn't show up. Maybe I might have one. So now you might have a warrant. So you went from I've never been arrested. I don't remember. I was. To, I have a warrant. <laughs> For somebody that's never been arrested before, your sheer seem to kind of know the process of going to court, signing stuff, maybe having warrants, things turning into warrants. Mm -hmm. She gave me a name and a date of birth. Went to run it and couldn't find her in uh, the system anywhere, you know, even though she was adamant that she um, had been contacted by the police before and had a driver's license. Looked into it some more, kept investigating it, used a couple techniques that I used to try and determine if people are lying to me about their name or their dates of birth. What's your sign? What? What's your sign? Your astrological sign? Why does it matter, though? Because it matters. I know mine. Do you know yours? Yeah. You know yours? Every, but I don't follow this. Are you a Sagittarius? Are you a v Libra? What are you? Passports, you mean. Huh? What do you mean? What sign are you? I don't know anything about that. What do you mean you don't know I'm anything Catholic. about... Uh, okay, what does Catholic have to do with anything? Because I believe God, I don't believe in that stuff. It's witchcraft. A little bit more prying. Uh, she finally came clean that, yeah, the name and date of birth she had given me was uh, fake. <laughs> My name is Laren Elizabeth. There you go. I, I think I might have a felony warrant. For there you go. Violation, huh? Not violation. I wasn't on probation or anything. I have, um, okay, let's try I, this again. I, when I was, when, was supposed to go to hey. court, they called in a bomb threat and they evacuated the building. Write your real name there. Laren Elizabeth. Write your name. Had enough of your antics already. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, she did admit to me that, yeah, in the past she has lied to the police and has gotten away with it uh, because she was so consistent with the false name and date of birth. And she did admit that one of the things that I use uh, to verify people's identity uh, worked. Let me ask you a question. Be honest with me, okay? Sorry. Did the uh, astrological sign throw you for a loop? <laughs> yeah, you're good. I told you. You're good. It, it always works. I, I, I ain't so. coming to Rialto no more. That's not Rialto. Give me some credit. It's Colton, okay? Okay, my friend. Yeah, I ain't coming here no more. You know, you, you can lie all you want and everything else, but uh, with a little bit of persistence, um, you, you'll get to the truth. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll trip you up on, on the most random thing uh, that you didn't think about. In this case, it, it ultimately worked and wore her down to where she just threw in the towel. <laughs>